because this non-indictment is an indictment. It is. It is. Yeah. And this indictment must be taken under the perusal of the court of public opinion and the court of our halls of the legislature and government. Mm -hmm. And we must finally render the verdict that we must deal with this problem and deal with it now. Yes. The NAACP, number one, stands with the family of Mike Brown and all of them. <coughs> Don't you forget, members of the media, that St. Louis is the place where a man was arrested, <coughs> falsely arrested, beat, bled on an officer's uniform and was charged with destroying government property. Mm. <coughs> Google that. <laughs> Don't forget that there have been other deaths in these municipalities. We're calling for actions to promote reform and stop police abuse. We're calling for mandatory training on racial bias and police use of force. We're calling on the required use of police officer body-worn cameras to record every police civilian encounter. We're calling for better accountability of the use and potential distribution and the use of federal military weapons by law and law enforcement. We're calling for greater oversight of police officers through the formation of a national police commission we're calling for true citizen review boards yes. in communities across this country. And we're calling for it from governor's offices all the way to the White House, and that is why on this Saturday, November the 29th, the NAACP and its youth and college division and adults will begin a 120-mile march from Ferguson to Jefferson City, Missouri the capital, to dramatize not only what has happened in Missouri, but what's happening across this nation. Yeah. 